business. I'm telling you, man, I'm watching your guys' highlights here, and I'm, I'm telling everybody, I'm like, this is why our dads love boxing. You know what I mean? I'm watching that, I'm like, this is because of you guys. Um, Puerto Rican, man, uh, I want to ask, I, 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 I try to ask as much Puerto Rican as I can, but so, Coto Trinidad. Coto Trinidad. Coto and Trinidad. Where do you rank them, and how would a fight between them to get obviously prime on prime fantasy Mecca? On, on their time, on their time, they did great fighters. Great fighters. Good punches, great fights. But you cannot compare them. You can't compare them like you can't compare me to Willie Pets. You can't compare me to Sandy Sadler. These great fighters. You understand? I had they had hundreds and hundreds of fights. We had 50, 60 fights, that's nothing. We fought with gloves eight ounce, they fight with gloves six ounces. Come on, you can't compare. So you can't compare Tito to a Wilfredo Benitez. You can't compare Tito with a Tommy Hearns. You know, so I, I I hate when they start comparing fighters because they have their time and then it's another generation that comes. So is there any, so, any Puerto Rican fighters you see right now kind of on the horizon? I feel like, because I'm not Puerto Rican myself, I feel like well, there's kind of you know, what, right what's, what's killing the, 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 the Puerto Rican fighters is that they want to become their own boss and they want to dictate what they have to do. But the trainers that do that, I don't feel any respect for them because if you're going to train, that's why I'm not a trainer. I'm not a trainer because if you're not going to do what I'm telling you to do, then I don't want to, you know, this about physical and weight and all that stuff, you don't need that. You could get built with just exercise. So you're going to get tight and you get, you know, with, with all that, you're not going to look good. You got to fight good. Yeah. Last question, man. Who's, uh, who's one of the boyfriend's favorite fighter nowadays? Well, I have, you know, right now, Spence. I love Spence. Fucking Spence. I, I saw him fight for the first time in the garden and I said, this kid could get down. He get down. So I like guys that get down. I like um, Triple G because Triple G is Triple G. You understand? But right now, these are my favorite fighters. And, and, and Lovachenko. Lovachenko is, is, is. I don't know what to call him. <laughs> really. Grasshopper. Uh, 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 uh. Kangaroo, but it's something because yeah. he moves. Yeah. 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 You brought him Spence. Spence Crawford, man. How does that fight play out? What's that? Spence versus Terrence Crawford. That's that's a hard fight. That that's gonna be a hard fight. It's gonna be a great fight. And I, I, I think um, Crawford is a great boxer. He got a good punch. But this guy is tough. He comes to fight. So if, if you give up, he's gonna take you. Yeah. That's beautiful, brother. I appreciate your time. Thank you so, so much. And uh, and t tell the fans, man, what are you up to? I don't know if you're on social media. Tell the fans. Nah, right now I'm just in, in Puerto Rico and trying to, you know, do what we have to do with the people. And I'm trying to date, but I don't get none. <laughs> well, I'm going to put you on, so hopefully this helps a little bit. <laughs> appreciate you, Juan. Thank you, Jerky, so All much. Right.